Uh, welcome to Stash Tea Company, Portland, Oregon. We're sitting at the Stash Tea Store on Mississippi Avenue in Portland. My name is Tom Lasicki. I'm the President and CEO of Stash Tea. My name is Cindy Harling and I'm the International Sales Manager at Stash Tea. Stash Tea started back in 1972 in a little Victorian home in Portland, in the basement. Two guys started selling herbs and spices to some local natural food stores. People started asking, do you have any teas? And we started coming up with some blends and little by little the tea sold a lot better than just the ingredients. Back in the 70s, people were really used to anything other than plain black tea. Um, herbal teas were very rare, you didn't see green teas. So Stash Tea was able to be kind of at the forefront of introducing these new types of products to customers in the United States. And as you just go to any grocery store now, you see many kinds of teas. We've seen so many of our competitors' products on the shelf, and we've realized that it's time for us to take action and be part of that growth. It's been really great working with the American Commercial Service because uh, as we enter different countries, I'm learning that every country is different. For some reason, I thought there were more worldwide standards for products, but we're learning that there might be different standards for how you have to label products, what kind of ingredients are, allowed, which ones aren't, uh, extremely complex. We actually used the Gold Key service uh, about a year ago and have been finalizing our new distributor in Brazil. We started with a um, Gold Key service that allowed us to do an email program. We had a presentation, the um, a local U.S. commercial service uh, representative emailed it out to distributors and retailers to see if there was any interest in our product. We were so surprised when we got a list of about 20 or 25 retailers and distributors back. That allowed us to spend a small amount of money but was such a significant success that we then decided to actually visit the country and set up meetings with the distributors that best fit our needs. We expect to have our first container order next week, which we're really excited about. And we honestly could not have done it without the help of the U.S. Commercial Service. Uh, having a source like the American Commercial Service to turn to really saves the day a lot of times. I definitely recommend it.